In this video, we'll take a quick look at API orchestration within Gravity. We'll show you how you can, as part of the main API call, invoke additional APIs that use the data to enhance the response to the client. In our example, we'll call a weather API that returns the temperature in Celsius, and then use a policy to convert that temperature to Fahrenheit by calling another API. Yeah, let me explain it visually. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at an example where we call an API. In this case, it is a weather API, and we, we send a response back. The challenge is that the response is coming back in Celsius, and we want the response back in Fahrenheit. So we'll call the same weather API, and when that response comes back, what we're going to do is using gravity, call out using the HTTP callout policy. We're going to call out to an uh, API that's going to take Celsius and convert it to Fahrenheit. And then we get that response back. And then using the assign content policy, we're going to respond with our Fahrenheit calculation. So there are two policies being used here. One is the HTTP callout policy, and the other one is the assigned content policy. Let's go take a look at how we do that in the product. All right, so we have our API here. This is the API that returns the weather. And so based on my location of Denver, it returns the time in Celsius. So as we looked at in the uh, light board, we want to now convert this to Celsius, uh, sorry, to Fahrenheit before sending the response back. And we have this conversion API, which also will just take the Celsius and then it's going to return the Fahrenheit for that. That's the conversion API we will use. So if we go look at our API within Gravity, you can see here on the response phase, we've got two policies. The first is the callout policy. And over here, we want to call our conversion API. And we're going to pass in the Celsius and we're going to use the JSON part to get the current temperature that was returned from that weather API. So we grab that, send it to conversion API, and we put the response value into this RETVAL variable, and we'll grab the Fahrenheit response value. And that again is this Fahrenheit response value from that conversion API. I will enable that, and then in the assigned content, so we've called that API to convert it. We're now going to create a new response object, which is temperature, and we're going to pass in the return value. So this is what's going to go back in the response to the client. And I'll enable that. So you can see here in the response phase, we're going to call our conversion API, and then we're going to assign the return value into a new JSON body. So I'll save that, deploy our API, and over here, so now when we call it, let's see if we get the converted temperature. And there you go. We get our new temperature body back in Fahrenheit. So that's how you can use different types of policies to create API orchestration and expand and enhance the response going back to your clients. So that's how you can use the API orchestration ability within Gravity to provide more sophisticated responses. I hope you found that useful. We'll see you in the next video.